Hey, what's up guys? I have a running toilet. Runs every few hours, wakes me up at night. It's a pain in the butt. Time to fix that. So now I'm at Lowe's and I'm looking for parts. I changed out the fill valve on this toilet about two years ago, but I didn't change the flapper. So I'm pretty sure it is the flapper. Um, I didn't think those things went bad, but apparently they do. So let's get a new one. Just a quick tip on this. Flappers come in two sizes, two inch and three inch. Three inch is jumbo, two inch is standard. So I went ahead and got a two inch without even measuring, but go ahead and measure your opening before you go. Save you a little bit of time. The first step we're gonna take here is turn off the water, of course. And then the next step is to drain the tank by holding down the tank lever. And while this is draining, I'll go ahead and mention that there's a couple different reasons why your toilet may be running, in case you don't know. The float height may need adjusted, or the refill tube may need to be shortened, or in my case, the flapper replaced. As you can tell here, the flappers are simple to get off. They have just a little slot in the side that holds on to the fill tube. And there we go. And one of the most common reasons for a running tool is an old flapper that needs to be replaced. You know, they sit in water all day and then over time they just don't seal like they used to, which allows the water to pass through constantly, which was what was going on in my case. And then once the tank level, water level gets so low, it starts to fill back up and that's when you hear your toilet running again. And this is all there is to a flapper, just a rubber flapper in the chain. Now the next step is we want to go ahead and adjust this chain height to meet or to match the chain height of the original flapper. However, mine, I noticed a little bit of slack in it, so I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. Um, and when doing that, I actually noticed that I had a more powerful flush. So I don't know if that's how you get a more powerful flush or not, but that's something to consider if you're doing this. Now we're going to put this one on the same way we took the other one off by putting the rubber arms around these uh, brackets that are on the fill tube. And then we're going to place the chain back on the lever. Now it's hard to tell from here if we got a perfect seal or not. The way we're going to tell if we got a perfect seal is we're going to go ahead and fill the tank back up and then see if we have any water running. And then of course over time if we hear uh, the toilet continue to run, we'll know we'll still got the same problem. But for now, looks like it's sealed. So now we turn the water back on and watch the tank fill. So after it filled up here, there were no leaks, and we want to go ahead and make sure it flushes okay. And this is when I noticed that the flushing power got a little bit stronger. I guess making that chain a little bit shorter uh, holds that flapper up higher, which allows more water to rush in. But that is the end of the video, and if you enjoyed this, I know it was kind of a simple video, but don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It'll help out the channel, and let me know you watched. Thanks.